Scoochie everybody, it's AJ here and today I want to make a video on how to make aliases for your commands, for your terminal commands, so that if you have a long command, maybe you always enter or hate going up all the time, you can make a quick alias, which is essentially, you know, aliasing something. For instance, my name's Alex, but I make my alias for that is AJ. You know, it's a quicker way to say something. Just like there's all these acronyms for the CIA, which is a Central Intelligence Agency. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my terminal. Now the quickest way to do that in a Mac or Linux is probably to look up you know, look at look at your application search bar, bar, which in case in a Mac is Spotlight, and just type in what you want. So I want the terminal. So I'm going to get the terminal right here. Now I'm going to I'm going to open up a new kind of terminal. I'm going to open up a different type of terminal instead of this black one here. And there you go. I have my terminal right here. So now to create my login here or my aliases, what I want to do is I want to first of all I want to see if I have a bash RC file. So if we don't have a bash RC file, we can just create it. But what I want to do is I want to open my bash RC file. I'm going to open it with nano. You can open it with gedit or anything that you would want to. And it's dot bash RC file. The dot, you know, recommends it's a special file as a system file. It's dot bash RC and I open it above. And so right now in my bash RC file, all I have is if it's basically this is a bash statement saying if bash aliases exists then i'm going to load or execute dot bash aliases and so either in my i can either create a bash rc file which has my aliases or i can also you know link it to another file which i'll call bash aliases you could call it anything you wanted as long as you just changed bash alias where all my aliases are stored so I think this is better practice because this way you have all your aliases in one file, whereas you can have maybe if you're opening your bash RC file on your computer, you have all this other junk that you may not even know what it does. Don't don't touch it. If you don't know what it is, trust me, it may be very important, maybe how you load, how you execute anything on your computer. And then I can put all my aliases in that file. And so if I want to change an alias, I go to that file and don't go to maybe the very, very important bash RC file. But as you can see, mine doesn't have that many important things. So now instead, I have that command, which I'll have in the comments below. You can just put that in there. Um, I exit out of that, and now I'm going to use, I'm going to go into my bash alias folder. I'm going to go where I, you know, in that file I wanted to called bash aliases. And so that is, you know, what I do. I do bash, I can, I go in bash aliases. So that is what is going to be loaded. So as you can see here, I have one alias. I, and this is how you declare an alias. You say alias, the keyword, it has to be called alias, and then you say what you want to alias it as. So I have our login. So now our login is going to be the command that I substitute for ssh agn123 at our login.cs.vt.edu, which is my um, school server I get to log into. So now, whenever I type in our login, that is going to equate to this whole statement right here in between the quotes. So basically the structure of an alias is, you want to type in, I'll do another one, is alias, and then the name of it, I'm going to say list, and then I can do, I do equal, I do an equal, and then I do, I can give it options. So I can give it, so I'm going to do ls, and then I'm going to do la, and what la is going to do is it's going to list everything in a row, and it's going to display all of the files. That's what the A switch does. So I believe I also need to give it my switches here. And so now I've created a list here. And what I want to do now is I simply want to save this file. I'm going to save it. So save modified buffer. No one should change it. Save name the right file. Bash aliases. OK. So now I save that. And now I'm going to type in list. And as you can see, the command was not found. And now let me try our login here. I'll get back to list not working in a sec. You see our login works. And that's because um, you you may be like, well, our, our login works, but my list command doesn't work. And the reason because it doesn't work is because even though I just changed the alias here, I need to reload the shell so that that bash RC file loads again, and then it will reload bash aliases, and then that alias file will be there. But I haven't done that yet. So one thing I could do is exit out of the terminal and reload the terminal. But you know that's kind of not that's kind of not cool. It's kind of not like do you really want to be doing that all the time? So what you can do is you can just do source dot bash 
rc and what this will do is I'll execute the bash rc file again so now that i've done source dot bash rc that's a way to run any file again i'm going to do list and hey it it did what i wanted to do you know it um listed all my files again Woo! so i was able to make an alias for list so that's pretty cool that's a pretty easy way to make an alias and obviously you can keep on doing things within the quotes i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and please keep on watching if you have any other ideas um you know ask See you later.